Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to add fractions. These are the examples we are going to take in this video. The first one is the addition of like fractions. The second one is addition of three fractions. Third one is the addition of a number and a fraction. Fourth one is the addition of mixed fraction. And the fifth one is the addition of unlike fractions. So let's start with our first example. So our first example is very easy. It is the addition of two like fractions. We know that like fractions are fractions having the same denominator. So as the denominators are same, we can write the two fractions as a single denominator with the addition of the numerators. So this will be 3 plus 4 divided by 5 which is equal to 7 by 5. So the final answer is 7 by 5. This is the easiest category of fraction addition. Now let us move to our second example. Let's suppose that we have a fraction as 7 by 10 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 2. And we need to add these fractions. The first step in this type of fraction addition is to find the LCM of the denominators. So let's find the LCM of the denominator. LCM is the least common multiple. We divide these three denominators by the prime numbers. So 2 times 5 is 10, 5 is a prime number and 2 times 1 is 2. Now 5 times 1 is 5. LCM will be the product of the two numbers on the left hand side which is equal to 10. So our LCM is 10. Now we will write all these numbers as the denominator as 10. We already have 10 denominator in our first fraction so it will be the same 7 by 10. The second one is denominator 5. So to make 5 equal to 10 we have to multiply this by 2. So we will multiply the numerator by 2 and denominator will be equal to 10. The third one is 3 times to make this 2 equal to 10 we have to multiply it by 5 so we will multiply the numerator by 5 so 3 times 5 now 7 by 10 plus 4 by 10 plus 15 by 10 now these fractions have the same denominator we can add all the three fractions directly with the single denominator so this will be 7 plus 4 plus 15 divided by 10 which is equal to 7 plus 4 is 11 and 11 plus 15 is 26. So this is 26 by 10. See that the numbers in the numerator and denominator both are even numbers. These can be further reduced by dividing both the numbers by 2 as 2 times 1 and 2 times 3 which is 13 and 2 times 5. So this is the reduced form of our answer which is 26 by 10. So the answer is 13 by 5. 26 by 10 is also correct but it, it is a good practice to write fractions always in the reduced form. So the reduced form of 26 by 10 is 13 by 5. So our final answer is 13 by 5. So for adding fractions with different denominators, we have to first take the LCM of the denominators, make the denominators of all the fractions the same and then we can further simplify and add the fractions. Now let's move on to our next example. Our next example is 4 plus 7 by 8. So as you see here that 4 is not a fraction here and 7 by 8 is a fraction. So a number, a whole number and a fraction addition you can see. This is one way of seeing this fraction. But we all know that all natural numbers can be written in the form of rational numbers which is 4 divided by 1. So 1 is the denominator of all the whole numbers cause 3 is equal to 3 by 1. 5 is equal to 5 by 1. So normally the practice is not to write the denominator as 1. All whole numbers consist of the denominator as 1. We can write this 4 as 4 by 1. Now we have two fractions adding together. Next step is to make these denominators equal. Now as this is 1 and this is 8, the LCM will be 8. So 1 times 8 is 8. So the numerator will be 4 times 8. And the second fraction will be 7 by 8 cause 8 is the LCM. So 4 times 8 is 32. So this is 32 by 8 plus 
7 by 8 which is equal to 32 plus 7 divided by 8 which is equal to 39 by 8. We see that the numerator is an odd number and the denominator is an even number. So we cannot reduce this fraction further. So our final answer will be 39 by 8. Let's move on to our next example in which we are adding two mixed fraction. The addition of mixed fraction is same as improper fraction. There will be an extra step which is the first step to convert this mixed fraction into a improper fraction. So first we will convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So this will be 3 times 2 plus 2 divided by 3 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 by 3 and this is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 by 2. The next step is to find the LCM of the denominators. The LCM of the denominators is 6 cos 3 times 2 is 6. Now we will make both the denominators as 6. So 3 times 2 is 6. So we will multiply numerator by 2. And in the other fraction we have 2 times 3 is 6. So we will multiply the numerator by 3. So 8 times 2 is 16. 16 divided by 6 plus 7 times 3 is 21, 21 divided by 6. Now we will add the two fractions. So 16 plus 21 divided by 6 which is equal to 37 by 6. So our final answer is 37 by 6. Addition of mixed fraction is the same as the fraction except that we have to first convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions. Now let's move to our final example which is 3 by 5 plus 2 by 7. Here too the first step is to find the LCM and LCM is 5 times 7 is 35. So we will make the denominators of the two fractions as 35. So 5 times 7 is 35. So we will multiply the numerator by 7. Similarly 7 times 5 is 35. So we will multiply the numerator by 5. This is going to be 21 by 35. And the other one is 10 by 35. Now we will add the two fractions. So this will be 21 plus 10 divided by 35 which is equal to 31 by 35. So these cannot be further reduced so our final answer is 31 by 35. Uh, let's take a recap of adding fractions. For adding fraction, the first step is to make the denominators of the two fractions equal so that we can add them directly. For that, we will first take the LCM of the denominators and we'll make the LCM as the common denominator for both the fractions and then we'll simplify and add the two fractions. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.